Hey guys, welcome back. This is Driver. We are back on Western Australia. This is episode two. And if you've seen the first episode, we did just basic walkthrough and show around. Ran into a couple of issues that I have kind of found some res resolutions to. So for a start, the one I'm still puzzled on is this field one. So this is the only field we own currently. And if you look, I mean, it's shows to be plowed correct but then we go over and look at soil composition it shows it not to be plowed the only thing i can figure out is it has to do with precision farming here i don't know but i'm just gonna guess so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and request an analysis of the field and as you see it's gonna cost us two grand right off the kick another almost 22 grand to cover the drilling cost it's a big piece of property and when it's all done another almost 44 grand so that's gonna wipe us out pretty good but it will help so that is now being sampled I'm not really sure how long that's gonna take um, I've never timed it before so while we're waiting on that I wiped out all the equipment as you remember earlier in the first episode I did buy the dump truck that's the caterpillar there and I was able to go ahead and get us a couple new pieces of equipment. I got us two John Deere tractors, the 8400Rs. Um, these are um, a mod that I picked up a while back, so these have some different colors. We'll see that in here a bit. I also picked up a Cedar. Um, it's the DV120 by John Deere. It's also a mod, and it's pretty big. You'll see that in a bit. And then the Flexi Coil is not the cultivator. It is the converted one that's been converted into a plow. I've had problems with this on other maps. Hopefully it won't give us problems here. So as you see in our finances, we spent 1.5 in buying equipment, and that's just in day one. We're still on day one technically, but we sold everything else. I sold all the other equipment. I'm not able to sell any buildings. Well, I can sell the farmhouse. That's about it. <clears throat> so, uh, but we sold all the other equipment. Um, the construction cost is the, um, the little building for precision farming and I'll show that to you here in a minute so that's pretty much where we're standing at right now so we're gonna go ahead and plow this and we're uh, still waiting on results but I'm pretty sure we can still can carry on so our new little building is this here I really mess with this thing so I can door in or not okay there's a bigger version of this that has a garage door and you can park a vehicle in I didn't see the point in spending the money. This here is for our precision farming, so it will be used. I'm using an add-on, as you saw, where it does all the drilling for us. So, um, I believe we left our truck sitting right where we found it. Oh, I found the trailer park. They still need cooking no burgers. Um, that was a little joke from the uh, original recording when I was doing my first walkthrough that they weren't cooking no burgers here at the trailer park. Maybe they'll eventually make something for us we're gonna get hungry after a while so we still have our dump truck here and our other two tractors and two pieces of equipment are still at the shop so let's um let's go do some tabbing around whoa there is a train and it's underground Did you look at that folks it is under the ground so I don't know what's going on with that. Also turn the cruise control back on it, I guess. That's the only train. So that is odd. So let's, uh, let's check something here. Our things real fast. Switch to trains is off. Okay, so is that that's going to be a problem we're going to run into, guys. I'll say there's a work way around that as well. So, um, both the tractors are pretty much identical, except I was able to paint them. Um, I went with jet black on this one for the plow. I kept it green for the cedar there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get this all hooked back up. Get zoomed out a bit here so we don't have to hear this too much. And we're going to go ahead and head on back. So the problem that I have with this one here at times, this plow, on certain maps, it doesn't matter the size of the equipment, how much horsepower it has, it will not pull the darn thing. 
don't know what the deal is with it. I don't know what the issue are with it. But it is a royal pain in the tail. So let's go ahead and get rolling here. We're going to take, take the whole road here. We're going to have to pull over for traffic and such. Hopefully I'll have enough room to do that. So yeah, I don't know why this plow does that at times. Can I get over for that car? Yep. Road's not very wide in places here. Ooh. Uh-oh. That always makes for a bad day. Okay. Wasn't planning on using this feature, but we're going to get it off this fence post. We are going to teleport ourselves out to field one. Sadly that we lost our drive in that, but I'm not sure what I hit. I don't know if it was that sign or what, but uh, this is a big implement anyhow, so. Now we are going to use course play, and what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of follow along here at the beginning and make sure this guy knows what he's doing. So he'll start looking like about right here, so go ahead and get this all lined up. Oh, that's right. You cannot turn very tight with this plow. Let's see. Let's get zoomed in a little bit more. Probably going to whack that sign again, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> that stop sign is not our friend, guys. It is not our friend. Come on, mouse. There we go. I'm trying to get a view here. That one tree is blocking my view. That one tree might have to go bye bye. So, all right, that's going to be a close start. So, we are going to use course play, make our lives a little simpler. So it's going to be field work. Now, I probably oh, I deleted all the courses. Okay, this is where our saved courses will go. First thing we want to do is want to mess with a couple settings here. Are working with. That's right, because this is a 24 meter equipment. Um, this guy will run a lot faster in the field. We're going to turn him up at 20. We'll monitor that. And I always show all the waypoints. It This does affect your, um, your frames. So if you're having problems with frames, kick that off. And let's generate a course. So we're on field one. Now, one cool thing about course generator, or a course play, I'm sorry, is you can avoid these islands. So there are three islands here. This is where some lights, or not lights, um, electrical lines is running through. So we have to make sure we take care of that. I always do two headland passes. I try to do them turn. We're going to have to watch this guy on his, at least his first pass. We're going to start at the current vehicle position, bypass islands. So this is new. This is something that's been updated since last time I used a simple circle. We'll do circle. We're not going to skip no rows. We only got one tool. We'll generate this course. And it's going to freeze for a minute here because it's just going to act up. You can probably, you can't even see my mouse. So just kind of bear with me a minute here. Hopefully, this won't take too long. If it does, I'll clip it. And as I take a drink of coffee, it decides to kick in. So we're going to we're going to zoom in on this real quick. So by bypassing the islands, they'll do one circle around each island is what he'll do. And then he'll continue on his course. So green is kind of where it starts at and where it gets dark red is where it ends. Obviously there's the stop sign there and you can't see the starting sign here. So we're going to keep that in mind with these some of these fields. Not all of them have islands, but some of them do. Some have some pretty good islands as well. I've only had a problem with course play on a couple of these fields, and I want to say it was either 24 or maybe 22. I can't remember. It wouldn't load the whole field. And when it comes to those fields, we will manually do those ourselves. Or I guess I will, and you'll watch. So that's generated now. Now, one little kicker is that this guy is not perfectly set up. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drop. And we're going to start running. I always get ready to hit the button here. And I just try to get him kind of lined up. And then I hit start. 
so it's not going to be 100% perfect. See, he's going to miss a little bit on the edges. These fields are so big, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Now, what we got to watch for here with this guy is you can see that there's, with my mouse, you can see these fence posts. And sometimes there's fencing through those. A lot of this equipment will get hung up on there very badly, so we got to watch this. And it, if he gets hung up, it's no big deal. Um, I guess it's a he. I didn't really look to see who's driving here, so let's take a look here. Is it a he or a she before we get all too crazy on this? Um, it is a female. Okay, so sorry about that, ma'am. What we get zoomed out here and get turned back around. So we'll just have to make sure she doesn't get hung up on any fence posts, things like that. Traditionally, just the first lap. I actually like watching two laps and then make sure they get started on their paths. I have, no, we don't have to worry about it as much on this map with all these fences, but I have ran into where I had a seeder over in Rocky Mountain Valley and he was seeding on one field and he, well, he got lost. Somehow making a turn, he decided to just make a straight beeline across two fields and seeded a completely different product than what I had over there. So, and it could have been a she, I don't know. Sorry about that, I don't mean to be judgmental on that. Just <laughs> old habit, I suppose. Who knows? So, we'll just let her do her thing here. We're just going to kind of watch and see how she does. If you guys have any kind of suggested equipment for um, this map or any map that I do, um, feel free to throw that down in the comments um, you don't have to put a link down there I don't even know if you can but you don't have to put no link just let me know what you're looking for kind of be specific so that way I can google it and hopefully find it so I'll get my mouse pulled back up here you can see it here on the screen if you look down here you can see how long it's going to take so it's 56 well 57 minutes right now but that's going to take longer than that that is just it's pure movement so every time that she is getting relined up for say well come on get turn where I can actually show folks All right, so where she gets turned to line up for these shots here, it will the time will pause and then it will continue when she gets restarted again. So, and while she's doing this, let's because um, I think she'll be okay here for a minute. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at our map here once it's done saving, and it's still showing that we're plowing. It's still showing that the field is plowed. Now, I could have cheated this in, but I didn't. And see, now it's showing that that's being plowed. It, it'll be more obvious once uh, we get some more done, because that's really hard to see right there. Just gives you an idea. So, this field's got to get plowed. We didn't have any crop to start with, which is kind of a bummer. And what we're going to do is, after this field gets plowed, um, we will seed the field, obviously with course play, and we'll have to make another course. Now, another thing, and I forget to do this at times, is I always save my courses here. If you don't like how, um, by the way, if she, you know, how she's missing stuff here and there, you could always come back later and, and recut those edges yourself. You know, it's not that hard. But as big as these fields are, we're not going to lose a whole lot right there. So we're going to save this field, field always put zero one that way it makes it easier to find and then just pretty simple plow and then save and it will kind of freeze up and then it will come back sometimes it takes a few minutes it all depends upon how big the field is and how much I guess work it has to do like if you was to set this field up with say a mower a mower is obviously a lot smaller it would take it a lot longer so it takes a lot longer to draw in what it's going to do it's also going to take a lot longer to save it So, while we're sitting here watching her for the first lap, we will um, kind of discuss how we're going to do things here. I, like I said before, this is going to be semi-realistic. So I'm using unrealistic equipment, but I'm going to avoid using teleport as much as possible. I didn't get a choice on this one when I got hung up on that fence. Well, I did. I, I could have reset it. I don't know where it resets to. 
probably back to that shop and I'd have to start all over again. So just to make it simple for video's sake, I went ahead and just moved on. But I am going to try to do this a little bit more realistic. So I'm actually going to make the drive to deliver the products and that sort of stuff. So we will use the course play. Um, any field we can't use course play or it just seems redundant to use, then we'll use either um, the uh, GPS mod or we'll just manually do it ourselves. Now as far as discussing crops, and while she is doing this, we will look at our crop availability here. So, we've got new extra crops. Me personally, the way I've always played maps, it's like field one for instance, I'm going to plant wheat. And then the next field I go barley, oat, and I just, it's basically whatever's on the cedar, whatever order the cedar is. I never plant oilseed radish so we can close that off. I will plant grass, but I don't know if I'm going to fool with it on this map. Um, if I do, it's going to be on a smaller field, probably either this field six right here or down on field eight, because we're not going to need it, too much of it. I do want to bring livestock and animals in, but I have no idea where I'm going to put them yet. <laughs> so I don't know if maybe I might take field eight, for instance, and put my animal pins down there, or maybe field six, just kind of sacrifice a field more or less, but we'll see how that goes. So... Um, I don't know if I went over our available crops. No, I did not. I was on the previous screwed up recording I messed up on. So we have our basic crops all the way from wheat all the way down through sugar cane. This is all your basic ones are all here. We also have an additional one called root rye, uh, triticale, spelt, alfalfa, clover. We have field grass, horse grass, and pasture grass. I'm not sure how these three are going to work yet, so we'll come back to them once I start to figure them out, I won't be planting them yet. I may plant them just to see what they look like. Carrots, onions, miscanthus. I looked that one up, and miscanthus is um, what they call elephant grass. And elephant grass, ah, God, it's hard to uh, describe. It might be easier if you guys look that one up on your own. Um, or maybe toward the, maybe at the end of this video, just wait till the end of the video here. And uh, before we close out, I will see if I can get a picture of Miss Canvas and get it put up there. And I'm sorry if I'm butchering that name. Also, we got mustard, millet, sorghum, and rice. That's all the fruit types. So I know we're definitely going to do this field and wheat because it's it's a known crop. It's, it's easy to work with. We know it dropped straw, so we can pick that up. Um, we will have to go pick up a forage wagon. We're running a little thin on cash, so we might have to go borrow a little bit of money depending upon how much forge wagon cost I could always use one of the tractors I like to try to keep the tractors um, you know matched up with uh, their implement makes it a little bit easier for me it would probably make more sense if I had just one tractor but if I'm gonna be running multiple fields at a time then it's gonna be worth it in the long run to have the multiple tractors So she is getting close to finishing her first lap here, and once she finishes her first lap, um, I'll go ahead and pause the video and we'll get to the end. While I got the video paused, I will go get the cedar, get it filled up and ready to rock and roll. Um, actually before I go pause the video and all that stuff, I will go ahead and get the placeables and in case you can't hear it where are you at I know you're out there somewhere Whoops, sorry about all the grass folks there is airplanes in this map and I can't get my map down low enough to look but there are airplanes on this map and they're <laughs> A little bit loud at times so I apologize for that but it's nothing I can do I can't do anything about it wage payment zero bucks and yeah, we gotta pay her I suppose so 
actually, we're going to make sure she can get turned here and get started on her next little pass. And then we need to go put down a buy all silo. We're going to do it that way versus um, buying back. So let's see how she does this here. And I'm trying to decide where I'm going to put that buy silo at. We may, uh, we'll, mm, yeah, we'll tab around until we get back into the dump truck and then we'll get out and we'll walk around. And we'll try to figure out where we're wanting to put stuff at. So the thing you got to remember with course play is that these AIs, I mean, they're still basically an AI helper. They, they, they struggle with, with trying to get things lined up and getting turned, and this is not the easiest thing to turn. It doesn't have a very good turn radius on it because it's so short. And they're a lot slower. Now, the 20 mile an hour seem to work pretty good, so we're going to leave it at that. Um, I can't remember exactly how fast this one went. I wasn't really paying attention to that part of it. Uh, and they're a little bit slow. I mean, I can adjust the speeds, but I found that it's not a good idea to adjust the speeds. See right there, she's slipping. Let's see what she does. A lot of times when they're slipping, they get stuck. They get stuck and they get hung up. And yep, this is why you got to kind of watch them. So she's slipping. Stop. Let's get the camera turned around here a little bit. We'll do as well this kind of manipulated out I don't know how well she's gonna do here so let's uh, let's go and run a little bit this ourselves we'll just kind of follow this line here for a minute and we need to get on to we need at least get to this point I think we'll be okay here. Okay, so she seems to be okay for the time being, so we'll just leave her to be. That locomotive still got me kind of freaked out, but okay. Okay, I had to clip it right there for a second. I had to tend to the door. Package got delivered. Anywho, so we're looking for a place to put that by sell the uh, all-in-one silo. I'm thinking about putting it somewhere right about here. Probably as close to that building as I can get. Because... Yeah, I got the pressure washer on this side. So, that's what I'm thinking we're going to do. We're going to throw that bad boy right there. So, let's go ahead and grab our purchase menu here. Let's see. I think it's under miscellaneous. Do a little gap right there. Now let's see here, let me turn myself, and then I'm going to turn that as well, Oop, wrong way, oh you got to be kidding me right, I don't want it out in the middle, it was going to let me put it there for a second. there. Alright, so let's find some more else, guys. Sorry about that. Mm, I don't like it, but it would work. That looks pretty straight. I'm not going to get 100% perfect with it, but we'll go with that. Ugh, I don't like what it did to the ground. Just a little landscaping real fast, folks. And then <clears throat> let's see here. Landscaping. Oh, thanks. There we go. We'll swing around that other side in a minute. Do it like so. And then in. There we go. That looks 
good. Okay, guys, so that will work out for us. Where'd it go? Ah. So that'll be our all-in-one buy silo. I do not really care 100% for where it's at, but I guess it will work. Hopefully it won't give us any issues. So let's uh, tab back over. I do not understand why this train is underground. But, um... <clears throat> Alright, so she is getting lined up here, and probably, yeah, she should start doing her ups and downs. So, this is kind of a pain that we're having to replow this, guys, but I'd rather get it done and over with. So, let's see if our analysis stuff came in yet. Soil sample taken, so I guess we're just waiting here. Well, the numbers is going up, so that means it's still going. So it's going to be a little bit before that's done. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit before that's done. So, and as you see, our number down here is went up to over an hour. So, it's kind of calculating it all in. And I'm not going to make you guys sit through all that, so. I was kind of hoping to have a little bit more done. Um, I know what we can do. Let's, uh, let's do it this way. Get a regular map up. We'll go visit the shop real quick. We'll go ahead and go grab the other tractor and our cedar and we'll go ahead and get that back to the farm and I got to thinking about something we're probably going to need um, lime as well <clears throat> but for right now we're just going to go ahead and get this uh, cedar on back over toward the farm we're going to need to fill her up That way, that one's all ready to rock and roll. Way better turn radius for this thing. Ooh, is she ever tippy. And the brakes don't work very good, do they? <laughs> Barely fits in the lane, but at least it's a lot better than last time. Maybe we'll stay off the fence post. Passing on a double yellow. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. We're going <clears> to <throat> we'll park in this field here. If you see there above my mini map, um, that the 84 that that guy is spinning so there's two ways to do it we can either tab back over or we can just do this and click that what in the world and I can't control it that way <clears throat> I wonder why it's What's going on here? So, locking our four wheel drive a little better. That, that was it. I don't know how far forward we need to be here. Like I said, I've had problems with this plow in the past on other maps, so... Oh, no. Soil samples have been analyzed. Good deal. Let's 
send this person back off to work. I want to kind of watch them for just a minute here. I noticed that plow was twisting sideways there. It might have just been the, the ground being on an angle there. See, now we're down to 41 minutes. Well, they slowed down, number one. Yeah. So this plow is not going to work over here. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this plow finish their job and we're gonna get rid of this plow and I'll actually after this plow after I don't know if I got a male or female in there now because I had to unhire a minute ago what I'll do is I'll go pick up a different plow that I have um, in my mods I don't have it in here in this map yet but I'll bring a different plow in and we'll get rid of this plow and Hopefully that will solve my problems. I don't know what the deal is with this plow and new maps, or newer maps. And this plow worked fine on the old version, so I don't know what happened. Alright, so now we get to cab back around. Oh, that was easy. Let's close that box. We don't need that now. The uh, multiplayer map that I was playing on that I am still playing on with some friends I ran into a similar issue with it where it was doing pretty much the same exact thing there where it was just spinning out and couldn't do anything with it and that plow only requires I think somewhere around like 380 horse tractor to, to be able to pull it and I went and bought the Big Bud the uh, 747 mod that we were using in that map the multiplayer map I was on and that thing had I don't know 1200 plus horse and it still couldn't pull the darn thing so we'll let that plow finish it out because if not then the next plow the other plow I have is not as wide so I'd have to restart the whole course over and I don't really want to do all that be a lot of work. Be a lot of waste of time, actually. But I hope you guys are uh, enjoying the series here. I know that it's a little bland starting out right now not much going on and I'm doing a map, map this size by myself so and this is the updated DB120 mailboxes don't have collision so I guess the brakes don't work as good on this um, cedar as the last one I had so let's see let me get this menu up here real quick I haven't even decided where I'm parking this at yet so this here does not take dry fertilizer it takes liquid fertilizer that filled up 1900 bucks right there yeah, I probably got to pull out the trigger for a second there hopefully they didn't change something on here I'll open the cover I might be part of the problem That's what it was. And obviously, seeds. Gotta have your seeds, right? So I'm kind of curious. I noticed that moved, which was kind of cool. Close our 
cover back up. So that's a neat little animation that they did on that. That looks pretty cool right there. Alright, so... What we're going to do is we're just going to park this out of the way somewhere that's convenient. Because it will probably be the next piece of equipment that we need. This might work. Nice little drive through right here. Let's park it over to one side out of the way. Okay. I realized after parking this, I didn't turn the music back on. So, um, the one last thing we're going to check on before I end the... Uh, episode here is we're going to look at our how our fields are doing here so as you can see in the bottom right we got the field info and if you're not familiar with precision farming I'm going to explain it to you so the pH value is lime nitrogen is fertilization so our pH is actually pretty good and just to give you a better idea let's look at it here on the map so there's our pH we're going to zoom on in here a little bit so well, when you first look at it, you're looking at your soil types and you know if you take like that, that area of silty clay that area is loam that's sandy loam you know I'm not sure about the loamy sand it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me but we'll go with it so your pH right here um, this is your liming so as you can see we're pretty much in the middle it's you know it's in that good mark now we could throw lime down on it and improve it a little bit more just for a, just a hair better yield. I'm not going to fold it right now just starting because we're a little thin on cash. I want to get a, I want to get a crop in here. I want to get it harvested. And then you got your nitrogen as well. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty much in the bad zone right here. I mean, look at how bad it is. So... The good thing is that when we seed the field with the planter, it also has fertilizer on it, and that will take care of that. And it should put us somewhere around here. The other thing you'll see on here is your yield. We have no info yet until we harvest the field. Once we harvest the field, we will see the yield. So there's that. So that's pretty much how that works, guys. So uh, before we jump off, Let's go check on our worker here. And I forgot to show you this. Um, I popped that up with the, this is a vehicle group switcher. And I can quickly switch back and forth between vehicles and equipment and things like that. So anyhow, um, it makes it kind of nice. You can see kind of pretty much what they're doing without actually having to go to them. You can see that like the truck, if the motor's off, the lights are off. You know, that kind of thing. So anyhow, we'll just uh, kind of check on this worker here. I don't know if it's male or female anymore because we've had to hire and fire a few times. But they've got about 38 minutes left, and I'm not going to bore you with a, a field of plowing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to end the episode right here. I appreciate you guys for showing up and hanging out with me. Um, I hope you're finding this interesting. I know it's a little bland right at the beginning. Uh, pretty much any map is. Um, when I did um, stop the video, I did grab the other plow and threw it into the mods folder. I can show you guys that real quick before we go. And it should be under plows. And it's going to be this double. So it's not as big. But it folds up a whole lot more slim, makes it a lot better and easier to deal with. Um, costs 121 compared to, it's a little cheaper than the FlexiCoil as well. But there's a size difference, 16 meters versus 24. So, but until I can figure out what's going on with the FlexiCoil, that's going to be that. We're going to purchase, I'm going to purchase one of those when this field driver, when this, uh, I'll get my English right in a minute. When this worker gets done here, I will, um, take this down and I will sell it and I'll go pick up the new one and we'll have it for the next round so anyhow guys I appreciate you showing up and I hope you're enjoying and if you got any comments uh, suggestions that sort of thing feel free to throw it down in the comments uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video 
and I will catch you guys later. See ya.